Thank you very much, Caroline. Hey, a shout out to the Briarwood Volunteer Fire and Rescue Team. They saved a pregnant goat. You might have heard us tell you about this story earlier. The poor goat was trapped down that 20 foot hole there. So, uh, you know, this, is a, this was a great effort by these first responders trying to get that goat saved. So it was by pregnant, by the way, and the nanny goat uh, was doing well, we understand. But now we're talking to one of the firefighters who helped get that goat back to safety. That's Jackson Chan Chance, Assistant Fire Chief of, with the Briarfield Volunteer Fire and Rescue. Good to see you this morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and from a family of uh, volunteer firefighters, by the way. All right, so tell me how this call came in, what you guys heard of what happened. Yes, sir. So about five o'clock Monday afternoon, we got a call from a family who had just purchased their goats the week before. Mm. Uh, they had put them into a pen area with a lot of underbrush and they didn't know there was a 20 foot well actually in the middle of that pen. Mm -hmm. So she wandered in and they called us asking if there was a way that we could get her out. So when you got that call, are you, are you, what's running through your mind? Because this is not a normal call. Right. So we've done the rope rescues before, you know, but usually it's a person that we're trying to get out. Right. So uh, the first thing we worry about is there a collapse hazard being that far on the ground. Is there a risk for our responders going in there to get it out? And second is, how do you attach a rope to a goat? You know, we, don't, we don't carry a harness that fits a goat. Not something so, you normally have on the truck. Not right? at all. We actually uh, contacted, we have a livestock expert that we contacted to say, you know, what's the best way to attach the goat to balance it and safely bring it up, you know, to keep it calm. Did you know during the call or was it when you got there that the goat was pregnant? Uh, we found out when we got there. So it really didn't affect how we did anything except for knowing we had a little bit more weight that we had to deal with and mm -hmm. how we harnessed the goat to keep it safe coming up. All right, so then how did y'all, how were you able to bring the goat up to safety and how long did it take? So we initially lowered one of our firefighters down. We also sent a ladder down just to help stabilize it. And uh, he went down, rigged the harness around the goat. We had to, like I said, we had to fashion a harness out of webbing. And we pulled it up with two ropes. Um, I'd say start to finish, maybe 50 minutes. Oh. So, I mean, uh, what was the goat's reaction? I mean, it was, did, it, what, what, did it seem to be in distress? Well, you notice there's not a picture of the goat after the rescue. That's because she took off. She was gone. We couldn't find her. Oh, no. Um, that, she, she settled down after that. Okay. Um, the family watched her for a couple of days and doesn't seem to be injured. Okay. Well, and what about the family? You mentioned they had just purchased the, the, some of these goats. And, of course, of course, this pregnant one, I believe the name was, uh, if I get, get this right, Kiko Nanny Goat. That's oh, so Kiko, type, type Kiko of, was the breed. Uh, they hadn't breed? named her yet. They haven't named her yet. They've okay. named her now. Her name is Lucky. <laughs> I like that, lucky. Uh, this is not the type of normal calls you get, but the attention the department has received, it, it kind of you know, gives some, uh, I guess, some attention to how much work volunteer fire, fire departments do and, and the great work you, you all do in all different communities. I think it is a good highlight. I mean, just to become a rope rescue technician is 60 hours of training just for the rope Ooh. rescues. And so you think you've got a team of volunteers that spent the time just to study that you know that's 60 hours for rope rescue that's not counting medical firefighting that's just for that so it really does highlight you know how much effort and time they put into this and really a passion for the job Absolutely. so real quickly talk about your family connection though yep so uh i've been a firefighter for 10 years um, i joined the fire department with my dad I actually met my wife through the fire department, and I have several siblings who have gone on to, to join as well. Well, we appreciate what you did for helping out this family, rescuing that pregnant goat, uh, Lucky, and also uh, what all vo volunteer firefighter departments do across uh, our great state. Hey, thank you so much, Jackson. Thank you, sir. All right, we'll be right back.